welcome back. Today we're working on using balance to achieve overall wellness, and reflexology is one of the world's oldest wellness practices. With me is certified reflexologist Deborah Flanagan. Deborah, welcome. Thanks. Thanks so much for being here. So tell us what reflexology is. So reflexology is based on the premise that every um, that the a map of the body is reflected on the hands and the feet, starting with the head, working down the spine, down to the digestive. Spine is here. Mm -hmm. um, digestive, upper body, lower body, um, and by applying alternating pressure to specific points on the hands and feet, they correspond to the different organs and parts of the body. Aha! Uh -huh. So this is if this is a it's like a standing up person, mm -hmm. and this is our head. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to be working in this region primarily? Yes. Ah, fabulous. So yeah. do you use, use reflexology in your own life? Has it helped you? Yeah, I definitely do. You know, I um, got into this because I um, worked for 15 years as a development director at arts nonprofits. And, you know, it was a full, more than full-time job. And having my own Reiki and reflexology practice helped me um, help myself with these self-help techniques. And I like giving my clients things that they can do. It's empowering to have tools that you can use yourself. So you're a reflexologist, but your clients can do this at home. They don't need to come to a personal reflexologist to work on these things. They can actually just press their own points. Yeah, I'm going to show you some simple techniques that'll sort of be like a mini reflexology session. Oh, cool. OK, so let's work on some typical things that everybody experiences. Um, I think stress, one that I, I could use right now. What am Number I going to use yeah. for stress? So um, the most powerful point in reflexology is the solar plexus reflex, this which right is in, in the center. Yeah, this is a, a large network of nerves. People hold a lot of tension here. Yeah. We feel things in our gut, right? We suck in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, by applying pressure to the center of the palm. But it's not right down here. You're applying it's, like right yeah, underneath two -thirds the up. balls. Yeah. OK. Um, and holding that for 30 or 45 seconds, doing both hands. How many times? Um, I would just do it once a couple times a day. It's something okay. that you can do in the middle of the day in a meeting. If your kids are you know, driving you crazy, it's just something simple that you can do to kind of bring that okay. deep breath. And if you have a partner and they can do it on your feet, that feels even better. Uh, and on my feet, it will be right under the, the right. ball of the, the ball foot? The ball of the foot. Perfect. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm going to go home and yeah. press my feet, too. <laughs> <laughs> this is working. I feel good. Yeah. All right, so another thing that I'm curious about, and I think a lot of people are uh, suffer from as well, are allergies. What can I do for my allergies? So with any kind of congestion, the um, reflexes for the sinuses are the fingers, because uh, that's the head corresponds again. to the head. Right. Um, and Pressing up to the tips of each finger, um, if you are congested, it might feel a little tight towards the tips of the fingers. Yeah, okay. Um, and doing each finger a couple times, doing this two or three times a day. This feels really good. <laughs> doing both hands. and. Um, do you do the thumb too? Yeah, do the thumb. Okay. And um, sometimes if you're feeling congested, you'll immediately notice that you can breathe a little bit easier. So it works pretty quickly. Wow, I like so, that. Yeah. That's good. Um, what about... PMS. So reflexology is particularly effective with all things reproductive. One of the first um, peer reviewed, you know, studies done in a peer reviewed medical journal was for women who had such severe PMS they had to be hospitalized. So that oh, wow. was pretty intense. And um, after the study using reflexology, they had a 58% improvement in their symptoms, which is pretty wow, that's significant, pretty dramatic. Yeah. So the reflexes for the uh, reproductive organs are the sides of the wrist, mm -hmm. um, and just clasping the wrist with the other hand and then twisting your hand, you're not only stimulating the reproductive reflexes, but you know, as a reflexologist, I'm not working with the meridians of the body in the way that an acupuncturist is, but I'm very aware that a large number of meridians go through the wrists and ankles. And so this is kind of an energizing technique as well. So would this work for other reproductive sorts of things? Like if you were menopausal, this would help with hot flashes? It's great for hot flashes, for fertility issues. Um, for yeah, getting any, in the mood? For getting in the mood, <laughs> <Okay>. yes. <laughs> this and is doing, a good thing to do with your partner. Rub my wrist, babe. Yeah, okay. and doing both sides. And again, 30 or 45 seconds. Great, awesome. I love it. And now you've brought some toys here for AIDS, uh, reflexology AIDS. Would you walk us through them? Sure. No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the first is a foot roller, although you can use it on the hands like this. But you can, st I like to do this first thing in the morning and right before bed, especially if I've been on my feet all day. But just rubbing, rolling um, your foot or your hands um, 
The digestive reflexes are the lower part of the hand or the arch of the foot, so it's particularly good if you have oh, digestive okay. issues. Can I play with it? Yeah, sure. Thank Go you. Go for it. Oh yeah, this is nice. Feels good. It's not really hard. It's kind of it's gentle. Soothing. Yeah. yeah. This is nice. Wow. You could get into this. All right. Awesome. Love it. Um, this thing is kind of weird. It looks looking. weird, right? Yeah. It's, it's very strange. So it's stimulating um, rocks. So, okay. um, and in Asia, they actually have in public parks, they have reflexology pathways that um, get access to different parts of your feet. So um, I have mine in front of my kitchen sink. Perfect. Multitasking. So multitasking, yes. 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 But um, this one kind of hurts good. So I would start off with socks because it's, it's sensitive, like wear your socks when you stand on this, and okay. then you can work your way up to bare feet. But you know, thousands of years ago, we walked around barefoot, and we were stimulating those 14,000 nerve endings on our feet every day, and mm -hmm. now we wear shoes. So this is a good way to access, it's kind of like giving yourself a mini reflexology session. Now, is it possible to overdo it? Can you hurt yourself by sticking your these little nubs in the bottom of your feet too hard or anything? It, no, you know, I would, if your feet are particularly sensitive, definitely wear socks, maybe stand on it just for a, you know, a couple seconds and work your way up. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's like, it's accessing all those nerve endings, so it's good. Okay, so no bad, no no. bad side effects to reflexology. No. Okay, cool. All right, our last toy here is this ball that I've been thinking is for throwing at my producer, Sanford. <laughs> but uh, apparently that's not what it's for, so would you that's show us? That's an alternate use. Um, so this is the million dollar golf ball technique. You can use a golf ball. I like this, and you can get any of these online, because um, it kind of gets in a little bit more. But you um, kind of dig into the bottom part of the hand, the base of the palm, and you want to try it? Yeah. You're getting the digestive reflexes, and also um, if you have um, asthma or allergies, you're accessing the adrenal gland reflex, which is right here. And that's why it's called the million dollar golf ball technique. Kevin Coons, a reflexologist, had a client who would have asthma attacks every day, and doing this every day really helped get that under control. So is reflexology something you would do on your kids? Yeah, you know, I think we naturally do that. Like the list, this little piggy went to market, like you're oh. stimulating those toe reflexes. And babies especially, um, but little kids as well, are very sensitive. So just doing it for a few, you know, 30 seconds on the whole foot um, pressing really does a lot. So yeah. it's a good way. And you can do that solar plexus one too for crying babies that works oh, really well. That. Yeah. Even just playing with it gets you to a more centered and calm place, I feel. Yeah, I um, think anytime you can interrupt stress. Yeah. And doing it in a minute segment is something that's bite sized and manageable for everybody. Can I keep this? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. I have loved this. This is great. Up next, we're going out and about for the mind, body and spirit. You won't want to miss it.